All right, everyone. So the NBA world is now a buzz talking about the new Derek White extension. So Woj re- reported this. Washington Celtics guard Derek White has agreed on a four-year, $125.9 million contract extension, sources tell ESPN. The deal includes a player option, huge offseason priority for the champs. So this was, you know, one of the, probably the biggest, because Tatum is already considered somebody they're going to be able to extend. And there was no question about that. This is was the one that the Celtics really wanted, and they got it. Now, here's the hidden truth behind this extension, and we haven't heard this besides around people, because you know we follow all these different local people in the media, right? So the, t- the ones, the beat reporters, the ones following the team. So we have a few different tweets we're going to read you that this to us is the hidden truth behind this deal. So Noah Dazal, I believe last season was her first season actually covering the Celtics, but Celtic fans seem to love her. So we're going to read a tweet from her. The Derek White extension was the off-season priority and Brad Stevens got it done on July 1st. You have to think he could have found more lucrative offers on the open market, but D. White loves Boston, and the fit couldn't be better, obviously. Bobby Manning, um, this is a Celtics and NBA reporter for Celtics CLNS. Celtics and Derek White agree to a max four-year extension, a ginormous win for Boston that keeps its starting lineup together through 2026. This is from Sam Quinn, a CBS Sports NBA reporter. Derek White will make $145.4 million over the next five seasons. Emmanuel quickly will make $175 in that same span. This isn't a dig at IQ. It's just meant to show how far below market White is getting paid. He's the better player and he'll earn $30 million less. So that's the hidden truth behind this deal is that Derek White, now here's, here's where some people may get confused. So Derek White got his max extension according to Woj and others, but that's only as part of this current deal. My guess is if he wasn't extended and he just signed a new contract, my guess is he could have gotten more per year. I'm thinking that's how it, how it works because like everybody's saying, I mean, you know, he's worth a lot, a lot more than what he's getting paid. So I think that's the part that people have to focus on is Derek White is taking basically a pay cut to keep this court together and you know, Celtic fans are going to be indebted to him for a long time for that. They're going to feel that way. They're going to love him even more for what he's doing. And if they do go on to win, you know, a couple rings, a couple more rings, I should say, this is going to be the moment where people look back on and go, it's because of Derek White's sacrifice that that was allowed to happen. Now, there is supposedly a player option. I haven't seen the details of the deal yet. So my guess is, and there's a player option, it's probably on that last year. And so that could be where the Celtics get into, you know, this could be where White kind of cashes out and goes for the payday after, you know, he uses that player option. But for now, at least the Celtics will have the core together for a few more years, and that can allow them to win some more championships. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next.